Hello, this is Mark Wildman of Wildman Athletica, and today we are going to do a box opening. USAiron.com was kind enough to send me some kettlebells. They want to know what I think of them, and so we're going to open them up and we'll find out. My main concern with kettlebells is always handle geometry or handle distance between the corner of your hand and it laying on your wrist. So, this is an American-made company. Let's hope they're really good. Yeah. Let's open the top of all the boxes first and then we'll dump them out. That way we're not fighting with the boxes with a knife in our hand. So that's two open. This last box isn't labeled, so I don't know what's in it at all. I assume it's a kettlebell, but. Yep, even more tape. So. Unfold completely, the bag is come. Un I don't know. Whatever, we're just going to dump it out. So, we'll get that in a second. Number one, pat it on the top. That's always nice. Ooh, these are nice. This is a uh, 44. Got a little bit of stuff on it, but that's no big deal. Already like it. Sits very, very well in the hand. Oh yeah, that's gonna be a nice bell. Let's dump out these other two. Don't let your trash get away from you. Ooh. Ooh. That's... That's nice. These are like very sexy versions of the original RKC bells. So, we have double 35s and 144. Nice. Cold. They are very cold because they've been outside for a while. Handle geometry is really good. So you'll see the top here, there's a seam, but it's been sanded down very well, which is nice, because that the seam is what eats your hand up. And normally, we're looking at this inside corner right here for the seam, the casting seam, when they sand cast these in the foundry, and they have sanded it very well. If you'll find really cheap kettlebells that won't be sanded, and it will eat your hands alive. So people used to buy kettlebells and sand them down themselves. I had to do that on all of my first bells that I got back in 2006. It sucked, it takes forever, so this is very nice. They have a good, just plain black finish on them. I like them. They are cold from being in a cold delivery truck. Let's do some quick cleans and just feel how they move in the hand. I like them. They're good. We're going to put these into our training rotation. I have a big training idea I'm going to work on. I'm going to work up to 30 minutes without putting the bell down with a 35, a 44, and a 53, which would be 16K, 20K, and 24K. And I'm going to try and hit that goal by Christmas. Looks like these are going to be the bells for it. So USA Iron. They look good, the seams are clean, the handle geometry is correct, and they are available. They're also made in America, which is always a good thing. That means we're not waiting for containers to come all the way over from China, getting stuck in ports, and then being unable to get them. They're making them right here, they're shipping right now. Any bells that we can get right now that have good handle geometry are bells that we can use. So these are good, classic, hard style bells. Hard style means that they get bigger and smaller because there's no hollow void in the center like on a competition kettlebell. Competition kettlebells were all the same size but different weights. Hard style bells, light ones are small, heavy ones are really, really big. These fit really well in the hand, they look good, the seams are good. We're gonna give them a try.
This has been Mark Wildman of Wildman Athletica.